All right, so today I'm going to be replacing a fuel meter at a 94 SAM bar. And the reason is when I took this vehicle out of storage this year, I observed that when I filled the tank, the fuel meter or the meter on the dash no longer read to the full line. It only reads up to about seven eighths. So in lieu of that, I'm going, I ordered this fuel sender or fuel meter, whichever you prefer to call it, from Japan, and I'm going to replace it. Now I'm pretty sure it's pretty straightforward. I think I'm only gonna need one tool for this, which is an eight millimeter. And uh, let's see if I can get those off. So these are obviously the wires that send the information or are resistance based for the meter. Also, please excuse my, uh, wires there. Those are for my sound system in the very small tiny truck. And let's see here. Da, 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 da. Taking my tiny little ratchet here. Yeah, take this guy out. Of course, see. Yeah. The recommendation is, of course, take off the uh, negative terminal of your battery before doing this, or the positive terminal. Standard affair from most videos, always disconnect battery before service, they say. This one, since you're working with explosive vapors, may not be too bad of an idea. I'm just gonna hope that this does not have a gasket. Probably does, and I hope the gasket's reusable. If not, I am gonna get my gasket maker, and I'll just use the gasket maker. Last one. I can already smell gasoline. That's a good sign. Oh, no, we need that. There we go. Grab. There you go. Yep. All right, it's loose. That's good. All right, come on. Are you stuck? Uh, oh, it's stuck on the rubber gasket. Of course it would be. Let's see here. Is this? Uh, yes. Come off! Come on, buddy. Yep, there we go. Nice and easy. There we go. There's the fuel meter. Yeah, it's a fuel meter. I agree. Gasket off, or does this new one come with a gasket? How good the new one comes with a gasket. I didn't even check that before doing this. That's poor execution on my part. There we go. There we go. All right. And in. And there you go. Now. In the manual, I didn't see any torque specs for these, so I'm probably gonna guess it's just tilt tight. Get all the nuts started. Only sits in pretty much one place. One. Got weight bugs. Hello, delivery van. Ah, it's Amazon. It's always Amazon. I don't think I've ordered anything from Amazon lately. There we go. We'll just do this one because this one's a little stiff. Snug, snug, so I got five bolts, so I'm gonna go in a penta pattern. I 
we're going to start at a different bolt. I'm going to go in a different pattern. There you go. And we rehook our wires. There you go. And hopefully, my fuel meter reads accurately now. <laughs> 